Today we have Ashrit Arun. So what made you segment your thing from gaming to dance? Basically, <coughs> I am a hardcore gamer. I don't upload like hardcore gaming onto my channel. That's because I play shitty games on my channel. So when I started YouTube, I didn't know that I was going to get 1K subs and all. I just mm -hmm. did, it, did it for fun. Okay. And then I gained some momentum in my gaming channel. That's when I became interested in YouTube. Mm -hmm. Actually had a channel named Ashit Arun way before. Okay. I didn't use it at all. Then I discovered why not make some dance videos. Mm -hmm. Then first I uploaded it on Facebook. I got high response. From your From, from my friends and my relatives and stuff. The, some One of my friends suggested me to upload it to YouTube. I did it. It's actually going pretty good. I have like five to six videos on my channel. Okay. Coming back to the gaming channel. So what was your journey from zero to thousand plus subscribers? The first 10 to 15 videos like they didn't have any views at all like okay. maximum of three to four views on each of my video <laughs> i was like what the hell am i doing with my life i then realized that two views of, were mine because mm -hmm. when i when i went to check how many views i had okay even those views get counted <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah of course of course <laughs> nobody liked it nobody commented i was like okay this is the bullshit just you, be, you're not gonna continue no anymore. no i i thought uh, this is like nonsense instead i'll just play games by myself why, <laughs> why am i blabbering in front of the camera uh -huh. then after continued it somewhat i don't know i just made up my mind and did some 30 videos the 29th or 30th one i made a video of uh, gta 4 okay and uh -huh. it had a funny mod a multiplayer thing a multiplayer thing uh -huh. yeah and then it go it had a superman mod or something hmm. i just put some stupid title to the video it hmm. got over 1300 views or something Th that happened in a that span of a day or something no not exactly look about a week like the next video it got like 100 to 300 100 or 300, 200 views like something like that Mm -hmm. So then I slowly gain momentum. So which is the segment which is working out for you in the dance uh, channel and in the gaming channel too? Dancing isn't uh, something you can do daily. Uh, it'll, it'll make your viewers get bored easily mm -hmm. if you do the same thing and upload it. So mm -hmm. what I do is I maintain some schedule like at least uh, one video in two weeks or something and I do that. I like to dance to rap music. Oh, wow, what's that? It's, exactly. it's actually a new genre of music, mm -hmm. originated in the recent times. Mm. It wasn't there. Okay. I mean, uh, it is actually, it consists of EDM and stuff. Dubstep is quite popular. Yeah. Dubstep is actually a sub-genre of the trap music. So it mm -hmm. comes under the trap music. Okay. Yeah. Quality of my dance videos are not up to the mark. I, even though I upload, it says HD, but it's not actually <laughs> HD. The quality isn't that good. So oh, which camera do you use? I use JVC every year. Basically, they're lying to you that it's not HD. It's not HD. <laughs> it is not HD at all. Like okay. it's, it is such a crappy ca camera. I think I should get a better camera first. Okay. And cool. along with that, I do videos inside my house, which mm -hmm. kind of looks like congested and stuff. So if I go out with a nice background, if I dance to a good music with a good camera, then I think that I have a chance. To okay. Stand up. Like you want to try some uh, different camera angles too? Yeah. yeah different camera angles, a better uh, intro video or something like that. So what are the tips you'd like to give upcoming YouTubers who are into dance? First, they shouldn't actually perform for the camera. Uh -huh. They should do it for themselves. Follow the music. Don't dance without any music. <laughs> I mean, you have to have a good musicality. Good musicality is when you are able to sense the music. 
you the beat or the music or the tune or the voice that uh, that's involved in the uh, music so uh, that and then don't do it for the sake of being cool or something like that because i've seen many of my friends actually get into dancing just because it's cool or something hmm. it will never work out unless you do it with your heart you have to love to dance you shouldn't be afraid to dance in front of anyone Mm-hmm. while practicing just keep a camera in somewhere somewhere around the, around the corner mm-hmm. facing towards you and press the record button okay. and j- just do your stuff to get rid of camera consciousness exactly okay. and then at the end you will find your results you can you can actually using the video you can correct yourself you can plan on which moves you are doing wrong and mm-hmm. stuff like that and then graduate it. so let's jump into the main collaboration okay. activity so which song are we going to dance to you are a professional and um, <laughs> like pretty bad in dancing okay today i have a song by skrillex is actually famous obviously it's mm-hmm. a dubstep music okay it is known as cinema by skrillex I actually uploaded a video so we're going to be dancing to that cool let's get started <laughs> <laughs> okay, we can end it now, bro.